Hello guys and welcome back to the Grandmasters League round 3 and I've got to apologise at first for this being a little bit delayed. I was away at the weekend and uh, I was really busy so I didn't actually get chance to upload any videos between uh, Friday and or even Thursday and Tuesday so unfortunately I wasn't able to upload any GML games and we are a little bit behind uh, there's actually eight games that I need to catch up on as of today so we're going to be trying to do that and I'll be trying not to spam your f um, spam your news feeds or subscription boxes too much but we have got a lot of games to catch up on unfortunately and it's going to be a busy few days of GML for us or for me at the very least um, but yeah I was away at the weekend and I didn't get a chance to upload any videos I did get a chance to upload the Masters of Random Map Finals between um, Viper and Dogao which was streamed by Fiage thank you very much to him for streaming that and um, that did go up on the channel so if you saw that uh, that was by Fiage and not myself obviously uh, but I did manage to get that uploaded um, but yeah I'm back now uh, back in Sheffield and I will be able to continue with the GML games right up till the end I do hope and uh, and yeah so round three a little bit late but uh, better late than never between Jordan and Doubt the final set for round three before we move on to round four of course which is actually started this week on Monday but uh, I'll try not to confuse you too much with that we actually have Jordan23 playing as Mayans in blue off to the bottom of the map and up to the north of the map in red we have Doubt of course playing as Mayans as well and it's a best of two, well it's not a best of two, it's two games and this is the first game Doubt choosing Arena as his home map, interesting choice from him and uh, obviously both these guys in Team Tyrant which does mean that uh, they know quite a lot about each other as we were saying before when we saw Viper versus Jordan they know about each other and they know each other's play styles and uh, really um, it, it's kind of interesting because they do know so much about each other, they play so much together that um, it could give us a really uh, interesting two or three two games because uh, they really uh, do know exactly what they're well, likely to do. So um, both mine war and it's arena so as usual we're not going to see so much action until we reach the castle age. We'll see what kind of strategies they go for. They're likely to be plumed archers and rams of course which does seem to be the uh, very common thing to do when playing as mines but I'm sure we'll see uh, what actually happens a little later on. Sorry about the little frame lag there. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, I'm sure that will go away very shortly. And uh, and yeah, so not really so much to say about this for the time being. Um, it's arena. <laughs> but uh, one thing to notice is that Doubt does have forward gold here, which does mean a castle drop on this wall could be pretty deadly for him if Jordan decides to do that. Uh, gold placement for Jordan, quite close to the wall again, but not too bad. He's also got uh, gold on this wall here, and he's also got gold in this little corner. And I wonder if he's seen that. Yes, he has. Of course, he has. He's scouted that, just deleting his walls now, too, because uh, obviously you won't need those walls. With a gold placement, he has a gold on the side. So Jordan got uh, four golds within his walls, pretty much, apart from this one, which is just outside. Doubt with three, one on this far right side, just outside the walls, and of course two inside of his walls. So he's going to be feeling okay about that. And then there is one gold up for grabs in the centre of the map, uh, or sort of in the centre on the right-hand side, as well as one or two stone mines uh, just outside of their walls as well. Relic-wise, well. Well, it looks to me like there is just two relics in the center and Doubt has one in his base and Jordan has one in his base maybe where's it? no he doesn't it doesn't look like he does so maybe I'm missing something but uh, oh no never mind there we go um, there's two inside of Doubt's base so Doubt uh, looking good with the relics there he's got three actually three inside of his base so that is very lucky for him three right there inside of his base and uh, they're gonna be very easy for doubt to collect up Jordan of course gonna have this one here and this one on the left if he gets a monk out and collects them up we'll see whether that happens the last arena wall we saw no relics were collected at all I don't think um, I think that was between Tim and whoever else it's been a while since I've looked at it unfortunately but uh, but yeah 
we'll see how that one goes and I'm going to keep things speeding up a little bit until we reach the castle age. Another thing as well, some of you may not have seen the video I posted yesterday about streaming, but I'm going to be streaming um, every day, Monday to Friday, between 2 and 5 p.m. GMT. Uh, don't worry if you can't make the stream because I will upload it to YouTube, but if you are around and you want to, then it would be much appreciated if you could come and tune in to the stream, the live stream, at twitch.tv forward slash zero empires, and that would be really cool. I'll be doing all sorts of stuff. Yesterday we did Teaching a Noob with Avalek, but um, I'm thinking that... I'll probably do uh, some GML games today, this afternoon, and stream them, and then upload them to YouTube, because obviously, as I said, I've got eight games to catch up on, and that is quite a lot of games to be catching up on, and it's easier to stream them, maybe with special guests, the Viper might join me to commentate some games, uh, we could get Jordan, maybe, he's not very confident with English, but he might decide to do it, and of course, VH as well, so that could be coming up on the streams, so you don't want to miss that, uh, of course, it's always better live, because you can interact in the chat and all that, um, but but if you don't want to join us live, then you can watch it on YouTube later on, of course, as well. I'm not going to uh, stop that from happening. And, uh, yeah, so let's see what's going on exactly here then. Doubt up to the feudal age in quite a reasonable time. Quite a bit faster than Jordan, actually. And he has lured his deer, it seems. Uh, his deer are nowhere to be seen, so I'm guessing unless there's deer patches here, he's lured his deer inside of his walls. Sorry if I didn't notice that. Um, but he's up to the feudal age in a reasonable time. Blacksmith and market going down, and we'll see a pretty fast castle from him indeed. Mines do uh, are capable of doing pretty fast castle time as their sheep last longer and their boar lasts longer, which does mean that they get an extra little bit of food boost, uh, or fast food boost at the very start. And there we go, Castle Age from Dow in a very nice time of 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, Jordan a little bit slower, he's, uh, he's a little bit further behind, but he has got more villagers at this stage. Uh, Dow, of course, advancing on 27, Jordan on 29 right now, and, oh, he's down here, my bad, and he's going to add another one, so he's going to be up to 30 villagers before he advances. So, it looks to me like he's going to be a little bit later up, of course he's going to be a little bit later up, he's advanced later, but he is also going to have more population, so he might reach the castle age and be able to do a faster boom, we'll have to see how that one actually goes. Um, but neither of them gathering any stone just yet, so it's unlikely we're going to see a castle drop uh, at this stage. Usually if you're going to be doing a, seeing a castle drop, they'll be starting to gather a little bit of stone in the feudal age before they even reach castle and even click up to castle. So uh, that is not on the cards at the moment. We'll have to keep an eye out to see what military comes up, but for the time being, it looks like they're both just going to be booming um, and working on their boom because neither of them building any military whatsoever. New town centre going up on this stone for Doubt, and Doubt must realise he has a lot of relics inside of his walls, he could easily collect them up uh, nicely, nice and early on, and get quite a nice uh, gold advantage throughout the game from that. Um, if he does that, that will really pay off for him, we'll have to see if he does go and get a monastery up, and a uh, second town centre over on this right hand side for him as well, so just booming for the time being it seems, and no real military coming out whatsoever. Of course, the difference here between uh, normal uh, ar arena and regicide fortress where well it's not really the same but uh, you know what I mean uh, regicide fortress that they have a castle as soon as they reach castle age which means if they want they can start applying pressure very early on with some plumed archers and they can easily bring in some rams as well to uh, just get through the walls and start doing some damage so that's not really what we're going to see today we are going to see Jordan collecting up relics though because he does have a monastery over here and he looks like he's going to be making a monk and going straight for the relics in the center even if he does get both of these relics uh, doubt could still be an advantage uh, if he does collect his up but if he doesn't collect his relics up then uh, Jordan's going to gain quite a lot of gold over the course of this game and that's really going to help him out in the long run, we'll see how that how much that pays off when uh, when the game does get to the late stage. If it gets to the late stage, which uh, it usually does in arena, and uh, and yeah, we'll just have to wait to see what they do. They're just booming, 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 and uh, it looks to me like yeah, Jordan sticking villagers on gold over here. He decided to town center the gold rather than the stone. And we might even see a uh, an extra town centre from either of these guys as well. We could go up to four or maybe even five town centres. Uh, we'll have to see how that one goes. Looks like Doubt just going to start adding more villagers to stone right now and getting ready to either castle drop or add more uh, add 
more town centres on my bed. Uh, lots of farms of course to keep villager production going and uh, again no military from either of them just yet. Jordan though collecting up his relics already it seems uh, he's going to go out with his monk here or two monks even and collect both of these relics up uh, nice and early on. Still no monastery from doubt maybe we'll see that a bit later on but for the time being really not a lot going on uh, just seeing booming and, uh, and yeah I think Doubt's going to want to be careful of this gold here, of course, if Jordan plays it aggressively, uh, which I think would pay off for him, then he could really pressure Doubt back, because Jordan has the most gold on his side of the map, he has got the advantage in that respect, and of course with this one here, and I think if he plays it aggressively, keeps Doubt inside of his walls, that could really pay off for him, as Doubt might just get a little bit gold starved if he can't secure this gold on the right. So that could work really well, and Jordan might decide that that's a good strategy to use a fourth town centre going up for him already. He must have bought stone at the market and um, bought that stone to buy the town centre there and, uh, and stick it on that stone. So we could see some more stone coming in very shortly for Jordan and perhaps the castle. Just waiting for the castle, really. Um, just waiting, 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 and waiting for something to happen, other than booming, of course. And uh, just economy-wise, well, they're both looking pretty strong, nice farms and, and all that jazz. Uh, but really, just waiting to get to some action. Another town centre going up for doubt on this front gold here, and this is another reason why I say perhaps Jordan should get quite aggressive. He could take that town centre out with a castle and force those villagers off gold. Doubt, on the other hand, um, well, he too would probably want to play this offensively as he knows his gold isn't so great. He needs to secure this gold on the right if it does get to the long game. And though he has gold at the back and front, uh, he doesn't really know what's inside of Jordan's walls. But Jordan does have a lot of gold on his side of the map. So that's really important that uh, both of them, if they want to win, he's going to have to play aggressive. And I yeah, I think whoever plays this the most aggressively could have a real shout of winning. And we'll have to see how that one goes. But Doubt just getting a monastery up. And he will just get out a couple of monks now and collect up his relics. Which is about time because he's going to need them uh, in the long run to get that extra gold and do some, some damage. Uh, it looks like Jordan could come in here actually and convert a couple of villagers. That would be quite cool. A villager here converting a, uh, sorry, a monk here converting a couple of villagers. Could just uh, kind of offer some harassment to the game and uh, slow Doubt down a little bit, who knows. But where is Doubt going with these villagers? It looks like he could be going to get ready to go for a forward castle. He's almost got enough stone for it. And he has got these villagers primed and ready. Castle going on the left-hand side. Interesting placement for that. It's securing both of these stone piles, uh, this stone pile at the least, which is kind of useful as obviously as mines we have seen that uh, getting out a lot of castles and making a lot of plumed arches is very important. But he is going to kind of um, put this gold a little bit at risk by putting a castle there. But all of these like pro players that we see, they never really go really aggressive with their castles, which is something that we see a lot of arena players doing. And nice one by Jordan there, managing to get a quick conversion on that villager. That villager could be a little bit of a nuisance, but uh, Jordan just deciding to kill it off and managing to convert two villagers there. So as I said, these monks providing a little bit of harassment and managing to actually get a couple of conversions there. That is going to give Jordan a nice little advantage. Uh, not not a huge advantage, but every villager does count, especially. Uh, in the earlier stages of the game where it, the economies of the players are really important to get, keep keep them strong. So uh, Jordan getting a couple of conversions there. He might be able to get a couple more if he goes around another side, perhaps this side here. But this castle will go up for Doubt and it's going to secure him these two stone piles. So Doubt looks like he's getting ready to go for quite a few castles, a lot of plumed archers and uh, and then add some rams in a bit later on perhaps. But for the time being, working on getting these uh, these stones safe. And there you go, with mining camp going up on that stone pump mine there. And he'll probably try and secure other areas of the map with castles as well. A castle on this gold could be good, uh, he knows it's there of course, and perhaps on this side in general could be good to secure both of these golds. A castle in the middle perhaps um, would be really useful for him. Secure both of those and then he can use that as well to produce plumed archers of course. More plumed archers coming out for doubt as well. Jordan at the moment still without a castle, but uh, I think Jordan's up to the Imperial Age just a fraction of a second uh, faster than doubt is. 
And there we go, a castle at the front for Jordan of his own base, and that's going to secure his gold, but his uh, stone on this left side is still a little bit open, and Doubt could quite easily come in here and actually uh, try and pick off a few villagers if he gets a few more plumed archers out. Siege workshop at the front as well, Jordan going to add some siege in very shortly. And they're both going up to the Imperial Age in, uh, in quite a reasonable time, actually. They'll both be up by about 38 minutes, uh, 28 minutes even. And then we'll start to see some real action coming forwards with another castle now with, from Doubt. And as I said, he's going to push out with the castles, put them in um, more aggressive locations as he goes. And of course, once they get up to the Imperial Age, we'll see some trebuchets coming out, which does mean that castles could go down pretty quickly if they're not careful. They're going to have to make sure they get these plumed archers upgraded and take out the trebuchets pretty quickly. Jordan with a siege workshop though before doubt and those rams are important for two reasons not only do they absorb the arrow fire from plumed archers but the rams also can be used to take out trebuchets pretty quickly and even if you have enough of them castles as well so for the time being still not so much but more castles from both these guys and now it's going to be kind of like a castle race who can get the most castles out how fast can you get your castles out and this is nice by doubt i think he's realized you know jordan's going to be looking to get some stone out here he might be heading towards this stone mine you can see already that there's actually a, a patch there which could indicate a town center or something um most likely though it's not because we know it's a gold camp but uh, he could come over here and check this stone pile if he did do that he would see a lot of villagers and he might be able to pick off a couple of them for the time being they're just running away and uh, they're both equal on upgrades both with bodkin arrow and another castle going up on the left for doubt he really is serious about protecting these stone mines but I do think perhaps a castle on this side would pay off a little bit more uh, in the long run as he will be able to secure these golds and that is really important for him of course uh, gold is just so so important in this game it's just one of them things you need so much gold to have a strong game gold units always outperform uh, outperform the trash units that you can make uh, even you know plumed archers they beat skirmishers uh, plumed archers they, they beat eagle warriors even and eagle warriors are even more expensive but um, that's beside the point so anyway trebuchet is coming out for jordan right now third castle going up and a siege workshop going behind from doubt trebuchet already out for doubt as well but uh, just after Jordan's got his out, he's going to be getting those trebs out very quickly. And nothing from the siege workshop just yet. He might already have capped around researched, but it's unlikely. He's uh, got to be careful at the moment not to overspend. He's got to make sure he makes enough plumed archers to uh, to keep himself safe and of course enough trebuchets to deal a lot of damage here. The problem now for Doubt is if he loses these castles, it's going to be really hard for him to come back because he's got to make a lot of plumed archers in order to in order to combat what Jordan's doing. Uh, same for Jordan, really. So it's all about taking out these castles, as I've said before. And look at this, three castles creating lots of trebuchets. And it's so, so, so important that uh, that you make as many trebuchets, well, not as many, but a lot of trebuchets, and get those castles down as quick as you can. Looks like Jordan might be successful in taking this castle down. Doubt coming in with the trebuchets of his own. And Jordan with heavy repairs on that castle. Lots and lots of stone being uh, bought in. But it is very stone intense repairing castles but there we go one down for Jordan and that is a castle that Doubt is not going to get back in a hurry he's not got enough stone to put another one up just yet although he has just put one up behind but uh, wow so many trebuchets three four five six from Doubt desperately trying to get this castle down and look how many heavy repairs Jordan's got on that castle there he is desperately trying to keep it up but he's gonna lose it and that just shows how important it is to keep your castles up and keep them going and keep them alive because that was a good uh, what 20 or so villagers there just repairing that castle just shows how important it really is and it looks to me like Jordan gonna be able to take out this one from doubt as well lots of fire coming in and uh, we might see um, chemistry from both these guys fairly soon it's quite an expensive research but it's well worth it. it does of course give your plumed archers extra attack and your trebuchets get to fire those lovely uh, 
lovely uh, fiery bullets. <laughs> but no, your trebuchet is doing more damage as well. And a conscription coming from Jordan. He needs conscription, of course. He does want to make sure he gets uh, lots of plumed archers out at a quick pace. And there we go. Two castles down for Doubt. Potentially two castles down from Jordan. But he's got a hell of a lot of trebuchets here. And it looks to me like he's having pretty good success at taking out the trebuchets from Doubt over this side. Getting repairs on his own trebuchets with villagers. Nicely done by him. And if he can take out these trebuchets from Doubt, then that is going to be really good for him indeed. Capture rams coming in from Doubt as well. Unupgraded rams for Jordan for the time being, but Jordan starting to take stone on the right hand side over here and I don't think Doubt has noticed that it's there, or, or he's not even we just know that Jordan is over there of course. Rams coming in now though and this is a bit bit risky for Jordan. He could lose a couple of trebuchets here if the rams start attacking. They're going to be packing up and trying to escape and uh, doubt a little bit messy there. He could have actually taken out one of those trebuchets but Jordan of course going to retreat to safety and I've got to say doubt losing a lot of trebuchets there. Three, four, five lost for doubt. Jordan managing to keep his alive for the most part and that is going to really help him out as uh, he is now going to be able to push forwards and start taking out more castles from doubt. Doubt just down to two with uh, a third one being built on the left and Jordan with a two as well for the time being also so it looks pretty neck and neck I've got to say but Jordan's starting to creep ahead as he hasn't lost as many uh, trebuchets of course and he still has a ton of trebuchets on the map but Doubt coming in with the siege rams now which have just been upgraded and Jordan quickly able to take them out before he loses another trebuchet so fairly nicely done by him and uh, still no um, no chemistry from either of these guys. Jordan with extra upgrades on his plumed archers. He's got more upgrades than Doubt, which does mean he can um, engage them head on. And the thing is, though, Doubt does actually have an uh, elite plumed archer, which I just realised. So Doubt actually has a little advantage with the plumed archers here. But the trebuchets from Jordan really, really paying off here. And uh, he can actually now pack them up and start to move on to the next castles from Doubt. Doubt now, though, with three castles. Jordan with just the two, which does mean that Doubt can start producing um, plumed archers archers a lot faster and Jordan there we go with the elite plumed archer being researched I was just about to say going to need to get plumed archer really quickly um or as quickly as he possibly can to bring his plumed archers in line with doubts. Adding in a trebuchet, uh, not a trebuchet, a mangonel there to try and take down the siege rams a little faster. Jordan even using his trebuchets to attack the plumed archers from doubt, and it's looking like it's paying off. Doubt really struggling to get his numbers up actually, and Jordan with a much larger mass of plumed archers on this side. He's lacking siege ram at the for the time being. He has uh, got capped ram, but he's not affording uh, siege ram just yet. But one little advantage advantage that he has got is that uh, he has got a lot more plumed archers and now they're elite plumed archers they are fully upgraded he can actually engage doubts plumed archers and be fairly safe in the knowledge that he's got the upgrade advantage and that could really pay off for him if he micros these well and doesn't get distracted too much by the siege rams um, so really nice play by uh, Jordan here looks like he's got a slight advantage he's gonna have to move his trebuchets forwards but at the same time he's got to keep his trebuchets safe from these siege rams they can get in and you'll see how quickly they'll take trebuchets down there we go, one, two, three coming in now, and this trebuchet is a goner. Uh, there is no chance of that trebuchet surviving right there, uh, rather unfortunately for Jordan. But Doubt going to be pretty happy with that. Unfortunately though, he's also going to have to deal with the Elite Plumed Archers from Jordan, which do have an extra attack, which does mean they're going to be a little bit more effective at fighting Doubt's army. Jordan just trying to get ahead of the Siege Rams here, so his, uh, so his Plumed Archers don't auto-attack them. But Doubt coming in with a huge amount of Siege Rams, and he could even be in with a shout of taking out this castle from Jordan over here, which would be interesting to say the least. But Jordan now pushing out on the right side with a castle, protecting this stone and gold does it mean that he has got three castles out which uh, is the same as doubt for the time being uh, actually yeah same as doubt for the time being but they're in a little bit better position because they are protecting more and now he's got this golden stone over this side he could actually get quite a nice little advantage from that He's also just upgraded to Siege Ram, which does mean he can uh, can also get in the way of Doubt and try and be a little bit of a nuisance with that. And he has got all these trebuchets still as well. What is he unpacking these for? Where is he going to attack? Well, he could attack the uh, the Elite Plumed Archers or the Rams even. Uh, he could even go maybe just reach this Siege Workshop here. But Doubt adding another castle on the left hand side. He's really trying to push this side and uh, he's identified this as an important area. And uh, it is really, uh, Jordan does 
does have this gold on the front and the side. This stone already depleted though, and uh, his main gold pretty low as well. But Jordan gonna have this gold safe for the time being, and he can always move out to the right, which he is doing. Doubt now just gonna go for this gold over here, find out that Jordan's already there, and uh, that is not gonna be so good for him at all. Uh, he's gonna realize, oops, I'm gonna run out of gold here if I'm not careful. But a big battle going on in the center. Jordan with a hell of a lot of uh, plumed archers now, and Doubt coming in with more rams. It's like a ram on ram fight over here. Jordan trying to kill as many plumed archers as he can. It looks like he's got the advantage, I've gotta say, and uh, doing a pretty good job so far with his plumed archers and at taking out the rams from uh, Doubt, managing to keep this castle alive for the time being. It's costing him a lot of stone, but right now he can actually afford another castle as well, which is going to be really important if he puts this in a nice place. He could move forwards with a castle on the right here and prevent Doubt from gathering this gold. That would pay off massively, as this gold is going to run out really soon, and he doesn't really have any other gold left, apart from this little gold pile at the back. So. Another castle on the right could pay off really well for Jordan, or he could continue to come forwards on the left and put another forward castle here. But for the time being, just so much going on with these rams, and it's it's almost like a tyrant style, uh, I'd call it, because whenever you see Jordan, Doubt, or uh, or Viper playing, it's always a ton of siege rams and a ton of plumed archers. And um, really, it's kind of who can micro their plumed archers better, kill off the most of the enemy plumed archers, and who can get the most rams out there to absorb as much fire as possible. Jordan, though, slight advantage with these trebuchets. He can start taking out more of these uh, siege workshops and start to slow down the ram production of Doubt, and that's going to be really important to him. And of course, continue killing off rams with rams. Looks like Jordan has the ram advantage, though it's kind of hard to tell because of the colouring on these. They all look the same, apart from that tiny little band of red and blue at the bottom. And uh, I'd go as far as to say now that Jordan actually has less plumed archers than Doubt. So Doubt could end up pushing Jordan back on this side, but Jordan nice if he does put a castle here that would be really good for him but uh, of course this castle on this side able to kill off plumed archers from doubt and able to start to pressure this gold a little bit as well gold wise jordan really low actually on 150 doubt on 47 so not quite as low as jordan jordan with a lot of food and wood he could even sell it off at the market if we have a look at uh, the prices though it looks like they've already sold food Quite a common tactic in these games is to sell your food off and uh, and get extra gold from that. The wood price is still okay. They could both still sell wood, and um, it looks like Jordan could do it a lot easier. He could sell a thousand wood and still be ahead of doubt in that regard. So Jordan can sell food and wood quite easily. It looks like he may have just sold some uh, as the price did just go down. So that's going to help him out a little bit. And it's all about really who can just get the most gold. But it's looking a little bit dicey on this left side for Jordan here. If we have a look at the military mini map. He's not really got so much military left. His plumed archers are uh, getting a little bit... Uh a little bit worn down and uh, down with a lot more in mass, I've got to say. But Jordan can continue to try and move forwards. He has lost his trebuchets now, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Those rams may have got in there and done so much damage. But look at that. Just so many collapsed rams on the, se pardon me, on the center. And the thing with these is that uh, the, the plumed archers really don't cost that much. It's the rams that cost so much, and that is where the gold is being spent. So many rams left for Jordan, though, and he can absorb so much of this arrow fire. He needs to quickly get more plumed archers out, which he is doing, and continue to put the pressure on. But nicely done over here, forcing doubt away from this gold, and that's going to slow down his gold income. And also this gold here, really getting low now, only about 500 gold left over there, 600 even. And this gold at the back, again, very low, only like I don't know, two, a thousand gold, or a thousand and a half gold left for doubt. Jordan still has this gold over here, which is a huge amount. And of course this gold on this side, as well and as well as this gold on the front so Jordan with a lot more gold available to him and I think that's going to really pay off for him there's no way that doubt is that uh, doubt's extra relic is going to compensate for the amount of gold that Jordan is going to be able to have coming in and he's got the uh, the wood that he needs so 
he can very easily keep replenishing plumed archers. He's got plenty of gold to do so, and he just needs maybe a little bit more stone. The stone buy price is likely to be very high. Look at that, 185 gold by 100 stone. So it's very expensive to buy stone, and that is going to be really important now for Jordan to make sure this castle stays up because the siege ram is coming in from uh, doubt, and it takes a quite some time for villagers to take out siege rams. It looks like they might just be able to do it and keep this castle up. The castle, of course, is going to be on fire when it comes up, I think, but it looks like he's going to be able to get it up anyway, and there we go, the second castle on the right-hand side now. Quickly, Jordan, attack that ram before it kills your castle, and uh, also at the same time pushing on the left as well. More rams from Jordan, I've got to say, though. He is keeping his ram production going, which is really important, and of course, he is securing this right-hand side, securing this gold, and there is no stone left on the map right now. All the stone is gone, and uh, that's it. That's your lot. So, uh, likely to see no more castles. Now, once these castles go, they are gone, and Jordan now going to have to be very careful because it's four and four castles, and I think, or should I have said Doubt going to be have to have to be careful because they've both got the same castles, but Doubt is going to be running out of wood, uh, gold very shortly. He's being denied this wood, uh, sorry, this wood, this gold over here. And if Jordan makes sure this gold is safe, then he could even take this gold himself, which would be pretty cheeky, but it would pay off in the long run. Doubt continuing to make siege rams on this side, trying to take out the castles on the right, but it looks to me like Jordan's going to be safe for the time being, and Jordan probably like well likely to have a huge advantage here. A trebuchet coming out. For Doubt. He's trying to take down the castles from Jordan, thinking that perhaps Jordan won't have enough stone to repair, and uh, that is indeed one of the problems in the late game, having enough stone to repair your castles. Looks like Jordan's got enough for the time being, and so, so many rams as well. A lot of plumed archers coming in, and trying, just trying to push this left side. Now, there we go, Jordan starting to take the gold camp from Doubt. Doubt are not having much luck at all on this side of the map. He's going to be able to, uh, or well, Jap, Jordan even is going to be able to secure this gold it seems and again just gold hungry so much gold uh, coming in and he is going to be able to use that to his advantage massively all this gold here being bought in and uh, it looks like Jordan's going to have a huge gold advantage in the long run um, it's a shame really I can't show you the end of game statistics because it just doesn't work but uh, it does well I'm definitely sure that Jout Jordan even does have the most gold in this game. Doubt investing now a little bit in some trebuchets, trying to take out the uh, castles from Jordan. He's managed to take one on the left, and that was really nice by him. If you, of course, if you can take out all those castles, Jordan is not going to be able to spend his gold, which is going to be one of those problems. It's alright having lots of gold, but if you can't spend it, it's useful to no one. And there we go now, more trebuchet fire coming in from Doubt on the right hand side. Looks like Jordan could even lose this castle, which would be a real, uh, real hardship for him to come back from. But that basically means his front is totally open and Doubt can move his trebuchets forwards if he can, try and take up this castle out the back and genuinely just do so much damage. But uh, it looks to me like Doubt might just lose his trebuchets before the castle goes down, getting very low on stone, it's very close, but it looks to me like Doubt will lose these trebuchets and that means uh, Jordan will keep his uh, castle up for the time being. And neck and neck on plumed arches it seems as well. There we go, the trebuchet is so close to going down right there. Uh, these siege rams keep coming on in and there's the trebuchet gone and the castle still stands which is a little bit of a relief for Jordan at the least because obviously without castles you can't even make trebuchets which is just one problem after another but look at this Jordan now coming in on the right hand side now I don't know if Doubt's really noticed but Jordan is starting to take down this gate and if that gate goes down then he can run in pretty quickly and he can do a lot of damage to Doubt's economy if he gets these wood collectors then that would be great for him. Doubt has got a little bit of wood, but still running out of gold, and it's very, very on the edge, struggling to uh, to get much gold at all, continuing to just pump out the plumed archers when he can, and now adding archery ranges in at the back. Look at this, a lot of archery ranges. Looks like we could see some skirmishes coming out from him. He might seed a few more farms. He's got a lot of, yeah, there we go, more farms being seeded. He's got a lot of stone, or sorry, not a lot of stone, a lot of wood already, uh, but but when his gold collectors run out, or when his gold runs out and he's got lots of idle villagers, start to seed more farms, start adding in lots 
chance of elite skirmishes. There we go. Select skirmishes being created. Elite skirmisher just being researched there, and uh, that is going to be pretty handy. Uh, he's going to be able to use them at least to defend for a while and try and uh, run Jordan out of gold. But look at this Jordan in on the right hand side. And I don't think doubts noticed. Uh, he's going to notice now though as he gets a uh, a warning sound. Uh, oh, uh, doubt Jordan's in your base. Um, <laughs> lots of dead villagers are going to be. Uh, well, a lot of villagers are going to be killed on this side. There are going to be a lot of dead villagers moving in with the siege ram as well. Going for the market. Interesting choice, but uh, for the time being. Jordan going to be able to come in here and kill a lot of villagers indeed and that is going to be really important to him and if we also look at these castles Jordan 6,389 HP Doubt 5,280 and that is a problem because now Doubt's castle is going to go down extremely quickly and that is not good at all they are lacking that building uh, defense upgrade or the building HP upgrade uh, which you get from the university and now Jordan can come in very quickly take out these castles and Doubt resigns. He's lost his plumed archers, he's lost so many rams, he's got no gold left whatsoever. And uh, Jordan, on the other hand, well, he's not got so much gold, but he still had plenty of gold coming in. If we have a look, he's still got gold piles left on the map, and he has secured this forward gold here, which is ultimately how he won. He just won purely on the amount of gold he had, and of course the fact that he managed to keep his castles up long enough just to add enough uh, plumed archers in to push Doubt right back. So Doubt resigning and that means it's 1-0 to Jordan on this uh, round 3 game. So I'll bring you the next game very shortly and that will be game 2 and then we can move on to round 4 which actually started this week. So thanks a lot for watching guys and I will see you next time.